Hi everybody. Um, today's pattern is called Nia K by Erica Collette. We're going to start with a simple cross. Make it relatively it's not a it's not a like a Christian cross, it's just a four square cross. Make it make it kind of squarish, right? Second step, on each of these arms, can you see the letter N here? It's using the, the arm from that four cross, do this and make an N. Go to about the middle. Okay, turn it, make another N. That's how I'm going to do it so that I'm relatively consistent. Go to about the middle. I may even put a little dot right there in the middle between here and here, just so that I don't get too carried away too far one way or the other. Okay, that's step two. Step three. Which way are you? You're this way. He has to do this one. Go to that corner there, right? And make a K. So it's an NK. Neo K, right? NK. Then, this is the tricky bit. You can put little dots at the ends of the, each of those four and connect the middle of your K to the top of your N. See how that is? Middle of the K to the top of the N. And then fill this in so that it ends up like that. Isn't that cute? This one, she's got just the dots. This one at the end, she's got a little orb around that dot. It looks very 1960s, 1950s, mid-century modern cool pattern, isn't it? I really like it. So let's give that a go. I don't know if I'm going to put it... At first I thought, oh, I'd have to figure out how to overlap these, but I think, I think on this particular one, I'm just going to put one big one smack dab in the middle of my page which is not what I would normally do. And since I'm going to do that, I'm going to use a pencil to kind of get myself situated here. That is not in the middle. Needs to be over a little bit more. There we go. That's better. Kind of more in the middle of the page. <laughs> okay. So I am going to make my end piece. I need plenty of room to go up and around. So I'm going to make it about that long. About that long. And about that long with that. I'm just putting in a couple of guidelines. You don't need to do that. Matter of fact, you probably shouldn't do that, but you know what? I get tired of tired of the Zentangle police telling me what I can and cannot do. This is not Zentangle per se. Zentangle is a method and not a pattern. It's a way to draw. It's not how I am drawing. I am not a CZT. Never claimed to be. So, for those of you who say, I don't do it right, it's because I'm not doing Zentangle. I am doing patterns. Okay, that's close enough. Close enough for me. It's approximately a square. And then I'm going to go to about halfway. I'm just going to give myself a tiny little dot to aim for. Right there. So I'm going to go down and make that as straight as I can. Which is not very straight, uh, let me tell you. Okay, 
step one. There we go. Or is that step two? I guess that's step two. Just like that. And then we're going to make a K that's going to go from here to the middle of there and then up to here, right? Something like that. <laughs> Looks kind of complicated. At this point here, if I would have said, I can't draw that. That's what's the joy of having a step out is that, um, you know, say, I can't draw that, but yeah, you can, you can draw that. <laughs> so then the next step is to go from the middle of the K here, middle of these K's to the top of the end there with a curve. I don't really like that curve. Maybe if I do it from this way up this way, I will like the curve better, maybe. Oop. Well, that wasn't even close to the being the same. That was the most consistent one. These two are not so much. Oh, well. Zoom out a little bit. And because I said I was going to put try to put hearts in... in all of my patterns this week, I'm going to use a little heart at the end of these things instead of a dot. Something like that. There we go. And then you're supposed to color in this shape here. I don't think I'm going to color. Am I going to color? No, I'm not going to color. I think I'm going to put some lines though. I'm going to have them go got a little bit of funky right there. Okay, and then I think this way. That more emphasizes that pinwheel shape that shows up, you think? I'm going off page again. You guys are not screaming at me loud enough.
There we go. I like that. That's kind of cute. Okay, it needs something though around the edge or something. That's what I'll do. You'll note that I'm kind of making them shadowy and I'm not going back. I'm just doing another one around, just not all the way around. So I'm kind of going around and then partly, around and then partly. And that gives it a little bit of a shadow immediately without me having to Go back and fiddle with it. I'm going to go one more. Like that. Yeah, that's all right. It needed something darker around the outside. For some reason, it just did. you start drawing like little circles your muscle memory starts kind of taking over and they all kind of end up pretty consistent all things considered I'm not you know measuring or anything I'm just drawing circles but they're all kind of coming out about the same size So I'm just doing that muscle memory thing, round and around, all the same. And pretty soon they kind of all end up the same size. Oops, I got a little carried away there. Okay, I like that better. And then I need to do something to weight these hearts. The paper's starting to curl a little bit so it's popping up off the page. I don't like that. I've shown you that before where you just kind of just kind of bend it a little tiny bit with your fingers and it'll straighten out. It sometimes will do that depending on the weight of your paper as you draw and as your hand is kind of sweaty it will Warp your paper just a tiny bit and it'll start to pop up off the page. Okay. All right. I'm good with that. This was Nia K, right? Let me make sure I'm spelling it right. N I A K A Y. Give us a little bit of shading. How do I want to shade this? What is it telling me it wants? 
it wants. You know what they kind of look like? They kind of look like folded hearts, like, like in here. Don't they kind of look like that? It's interesting. I don't think this tangle was meant to be hearts, but I think I kind of almost see hearts in it. Uh, I think here. To start with. Maybe up here, up this side, this kind of straight side, since it, since it ended up really straight instead of having this curve. Some, this, this was the only one that really had that nice curve. And then I straightened it back out because um, the others were so straight. So I'm gonna emphasize the straight, I think. Okay, let's do that. isn't up against if you don't have your your pencil right up against your line it looks like it's floating your shadow is floating and not what I want I'll make sure I'm up against my line let's see I feel like that I feel like this needs you guys hear my my table squeaking I don't know I'm not, not really noticed it before but all of a sudden it seems to be squeaky Maybe it was squeaky before and I just didn't notice. It's possible. Okay, let me look. How's that coming? Does it need anything else? I think it does. I think, I think this one. It's kind of like it's folded. At least that's what I see. So that's how I'm shading it. There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. There we go. I think I'm done. That was relatively quick. It was a pretty simple little pattern. It didn't have a lot of intricacies. So, um, I think my little hearts need something though. Right at the bottom. I feel like they're not part of the tangle. I didn't, I didn't shade them, so they don't seem, they don't seem to be part of it. So I'm gonna do that. Just starting right at the bottom. And give them a little bit of something there. There we go. That's better. Ah, that's better. Okay. Your tile will always tell you what it needs. Just stop and listen. There it is. Make sure it's nice and in the corner and everything. Okay, so you guys have a really blessed day. I will see you tomorrow. It's going to be a good week, right? Absolutely. It's going to be a good week. You guys have a great day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.